Hello, I'm Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com and here are some Adobe audio updates for June 2020. And the first thing to notice is that Adobe Audition has a brand new purple logo. Oh, hang on a second. Ah, that feels a lot better. Right, let's hop into Adobe Audition and take a look at what's new. So here we are with Adobe Audition loaded up. And of course, you'll see all the session files now have little purple icons. And if I double click to load a session file, there it is, loads up very quickly, sharp and easy. Um, but there is a new functionality now for those of you maybe pulling in session files from other places. Uh, say, for instance, all your media files are not linked correctly. I'm just going to change the name of one directory to confuse it a little bit. And we're going to double click to open that session file. And oh, look, link media. Now, you can, of course, link the media. But sometimes you just say, oh, I can't be bothered with this. I'm just going to get out and start editing. So you cross it out and then you think, oh, where are all these sound effects? I wish I could bring them back in. Well, now they all appear with a beautiful question mark next to them. And you can simply relink at any point during your editing process in Audition by right clicking and and then you click link media or link all offline media. You simply go through, find the hidden or renamed directory or wherever that place is on your new setup. Click open and boom, there we go. Everything's imported. So that's a really cool new hack. Now, if you're a Mac user, <coughs> unlike me right now, uh, they've done something really cool with system audio. Now, uh, here on a PC, you go to edit and then you go to preferences and audio channel mapping and audio hardware here to set up your audio interface or whatever you're recording with. Uh, well, here I just select my device. On a Mac, though, uh, you can choose now the system default. So if you go into the system preferences on a Mac and you've got a setup for your audio, you can immediately say just use whatever I'm using for audio on everything else in Audition. It kind of cuts out the confusion. And a really cool headline feature in this June 2020 update that I'm really excited about is Adobe Stock Audio integration into Adobe Premiere Pro. This is absolutely rad. I'm just going to drag in a few video clips so you can get an idea of how this might work. So here we go. All right. So uh, piecing together a little bit of the roadcaster there, uh, maybe with a, a close up on the back. And then we'll probably just pan over to something like um, my um, iPad full of jingles. That looks good. Right. OK, if I click into the audio tab here and look at this straight away in the essential sound panel or the ESP, if you prefer, uh, you can get uh, music from Adobe Stock. That's right. Adobe Stock Audio uh, is now available. Uh, we've had motion graphic templates. We've had uh, photos. We've had video clips. But now we also have audio to use. Um, and you can find it here either by mood. You can just drop down mood and you can look for something uh, happy. Let's select happy. So we'll start there. You can go into genres. You can choose whatever you like. Of course, I'm a big fan of dance and electronics. So I'm going to tick those two there. Uh, you can go for other filters. So we can say, well, I'm going to look for something that's around 138 BPM. And let's bring that down to 138. There we go. 138 BPM. And I want it to last for uh, however long my video is. So maybe I want it to be one minute in duration, let's see, or anything between zero and one minute. So you can obviously zero it down. And obviously, the further out you bring it, the more matches you're going to get. There's a two minute thing. Um, and you can choose the audio partners. So they've partnered with Epidemic Sound and Jamendo as well. Uh, you can also say, I don't want any vocals if it's going to be background music uh, for your video. There we go. So the mark, here we go. I can preview it here. Pretty cool stuff. And if I want, I can even preview it in time. Look at this, drag and drop, as simple as that. How cool is that? Uh, and now I can really zoom in and I can edit everything to my video, you know, make sure all these clips are on beat here and matching up nicely. I can even make an edit to the track like this by using the cut tool and say I was doing a really fancy edit there uh, and reducing that down in size. Absolutely amazing, right? Uh, I can even, if I right click this, I can say save to a local folder. So I can actually save it to a local folder to say my downloads folder like this. And then I can actually go back to Adobe Audition. So let's bring in that Adobe Stock audio track. And here it is an audition. I can edit it, do whatever I like, bring it into the multi track and remix it to make it shorter or longer. And as you'll see here, the only difference you get when you haven't licensed a track yet through Adobe Stock Audio uh, is that it's reduced in quality. So we can clearly see that. 
And when you want the high quality WAV file, you just go back to Premiere Pro, click the checkout icon, use one of your Adobe stock credits or check out yourself on the screen. It will then insert the high quality audio in place into your timeline in Premiere Pro. Uh, so it really is very intuitive indeed. Uh, great licensing terms up on the website as well. Check them out before you license. And another great addition in this Adobe Audio Update for June 2020. <laughs> Music Radio Creative.com